Backs. We got a big game coming up this weekend. It's the alumni game. It's very popular. Yeah. Because you think back to that like 2001 World Series team, oh. and those people are all just still beloved, right? I know. So the the guys they get together, they come out and they play for the fans. It's actually before the game on Saturday okay. against Cincinnati with the D-backs. Okay. I think it's like two o'clock or something. Okay. And maybe the most beloved former D-back of all. Gonzo. Oh, right? for sure. Who doesn't mm -hmm. love Gonzo? He is so gracious always with his time and his uh, efforts that he puts forth. When he comes in here, he is one of the nicest right. around. And it's not like we're buddies or anything, but mm -hmm. I've met him no. a few times and every time he couldn't be a nicer man. Right? So anyway, I spent some time with him yesterday and he talked about the alumni game and tried to teach me how to hit a, hit a baseball. <laughs> Tall <Tried>. order. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Luis, thanks for hanging out a little bit today. Big game coming up this weekend. Yeah, we're excited about it. It's always fun to get all the, uh, the former players back out for the alumni game, and it uh, should be a lot of fun. Do you get, try to work out and get ready for this? Is this a big <laughs> deal? I do a uh, one or two day workout and then I'm ready to go. It's, uh, I'm past that stage where every day I need to work out and stuff, and uh, I just kind of get out there. Whatever happens, happens. Who's going to be out here that we know and recognize? Well, we should have a lot of the former players out here, a lot of names that you'll be familiar with. Jay Bell will be out here, DeLucci, uh, Greg Swindell, Reggie Sanders, a lot, of the, a lot of former players that played in the 2001 World Series and some uh, players that were here before that. So this is before the game on Saturday. Again, what time do the gates open? The gates are going to open at 2 o'clock. The right. game is at 2.30. So uh, we hope to get a big crowd out here, and, and after our – uh, I say victory, we're playing against each other, but after our game, uh, they'll stick around to watch Cincinnati Reds take on our Diamondbacks. Excellent. Now, you think, you, I've never played baseball. I played a bunch of other sports, I never baseball. Can you teach me how to hit a ball? I can, and I know uh, you have a lot to hold here. You have some kids that are athletic in your family, so let's hope you can keep <laughs> up with the, with the pace right. here. Just here. kind of measure out where you want to stand. Okay. Your back foot, my like this. a little bit, a little, a little bit. bit, and then all you want to do, you want to try to hit it right here on the barrel of the bat. If you hit it in here, you'll know because you'll feel a little sting on your hands. Sure. All right. If you want, just kind of feel for it right now and just kind of. Okay. Dude, you're a natural. Okay. Nice. Standing there. Well, I, Those were 120 mile an hour fastballs, which is incredible. Sure. No. I love though. I love how when he gets ready to set up, it's like he's getting ready to set up for a golf swing. I'm like, wait. There were some similarities. I know, yeah. You want to get off that back leg and get to your front no, leg. You but did good. You did really good. Yeah. I, well, I made contact. That was good. Yeah, so that's it, all that matters. The first 20,000 fans that come out uh, for the game on Friday, they get this batting practice. They get this. Jersey. Yeah, 20,000 fans. I was going to see if I could throw this wow, on real quick. That's really cool. So that's what Gonzo was wearing in that piece. So that is really thank you, Louise, cool. for taking the time to kind of show me how to play. Let me see if I can put this on. So real the quick. game's Saturday, and it's before the actual game against yeah, the, the, the Reds. Yeah, the doors open at two. Ugh. It's like a glove, looking good. Hey, you could golf in that shirt, couldn't you? Yeah, I probably could. Yeah, looks good. Thank you. All right, maybe you'll take up a little baseball. <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> oh, and the, the interesting thing is, remember Luis had those triplets? He still has a triplet. Yes, of course. But his son, mm -hmm. uh, the one boy, is the top baseball prospect in the state, high school no baseball. No way. Yeah, That's and he just surprising. committed uh, to a university. I don't know if he wants me to say where he is. But okay. um, so anyway, he's like one of the top baseball players. So he's so proud. Uh, he should be proud. Yeah. So we were trading stories about our kids and Aww. how proud we were of our kids. So That's awesome. Uh, billboards up all over Chase Field. Oh, that show. promoting the show. Yeah, it's Isn't that cool. perfect? Speaking of baseball, yesterday I got to hang out with Gonzo at Chase Field, who's really one of the nicest guys in pro sports. He is. He's so gracious. He, he is what you see. And, you know, we're not friends or anything, but every time I'm around him, I get a good vibe. Mm -hmm. And he's a positive guy. Yep. Mm -hmm. So the D-backs have their annual alumni game coming up this Saturday. So there's a lot of players that played with Gonzo on that 2001 uh, World oh. Series team. I can just still picture the moment when uh, right, the he blooper. hit that. Yeah, oh, that was so good. So he tried to show me how to hit a baseball yesterday, and he had yeah. some success. I mean, I was like, I made contact. You out did there. okay. Yeah, I did okay. Okay. Um, so you also, though, along with that, you played your game. Yeah. Which do you prefer? Which do you prefer? Okay. So it's a fun game. We're going to bring Celeste in on this, too. Is Celeste out there? Hello, Celeste. There she is. Hey. Good morning, you two. Good, Good morning, morning, everyone. So here's how the game is played. Basically, okay. I gave Gonzo a couple of choices, like one or the other, and he has to pick one. Okay. So here's the first thing I asked, and no answer yet, but I asked him, do you prefer Italian food or Mexican food? Which do you think he would prefer? I'll start with you, Celeste. I'm going to 
to go with Mexican food. Mexican Ooh, food. I, see, it's I was going to go Mexican gonna food, stick too. With it. You can. It's okay, okay. I can, we can have the same answer, right? You okay, Mexican can. food. Both yeah. of us. Yeah. Gonzo, what do you prefer? Italian. <gasps> oh! We love it too, but we have some of the best Mexican food around here in the valley. Oh, now you're going to berate the man for no! his what he likes? I just, I guess I thought maybe. I think, I think he needs to come to my house for uh, dinner, he and then he might change his mind. He hasn't had I'll make tamales. it. I make a mean oh, pot of beans. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Next, I asked him uh, two classic actresses, kind of from our era, uh -huh. Julia Roberts or Demi Moore. Would he prefer Julia Roberts? Or Demi Moore. I'm gonna let you go first this time. I'm gonna go Julia Roberts. Julia Roberts, Celeste. Okay, I love Pretty Woman, but I'm gonna go Demi Moore this time. Okay. Okay. Gonzo, who do you prefer? Julia Roberts. Julia Roberts. Oh yes. Oh, Boom you're up. shaka laka. <laughs> okay. She's celebrating I think it's the lips. lips. <laughs> it's the lips. She's it's the lips, around. right? Yeah. yeah. She does. She's a beautiful woman. And that hair. She's got great hair too. Okay. okay. So now, when I asked him what he prefers, it's a place. Does he prefer beach or mountains? Mm. Celeste. Mm. Beach or mountains? I'm gonna go with beach. 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 Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go mountains. I don't know. I'm just throwing it. I really don't know. Gonzo, yeah. Where do you prefer? Beach. Beach. Oh, you got it, girl. Oh, now we're tied one-one. This is there it. This is the tiebreaker. This is the big question. Who's gonna win? Okay. Who's gonna win overall? Candy, right? Yeah. Oh, they're wrapping me? No, we got to have one more. One what more. Is it? Red vines or M&Ms? Red vines or M&Ms? Quickly. M&Ms. M&Ms? M&M's, I gotta go M&M's too. Okay. I'll Roll actually I'll go prefer? Red Vines just for just sake of the tiebreaker. M&M's. M&M's! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, victory dance. I would have said M&M's too, but. You did oh, no. say it. No, you should get it too. You did say it and then you changed. But she won last but time. For she won with Michael Bidwell. All right, that yeah. was fun. Yeah. Thanks, Celeste. <laughs>